Hi, this is Bill Bars from the Application Lab. This is an instructional video to help a user set up their 811 Plus for the very first time. So after you pull the instrument and its equipment out of the box, it really consists of three major components. Those three components are going to be the 811 Plus itself, it's going to be a compressor pump, and it's going to be the HRLD sensor. The first thing we can do is after we pulled all the smaller components and accessories out of the box, like these little mufflers, we're simply going to plug them in to their location at the rear of the instrument. Pump vent, pressure vent, vacuum vent. Each one gets one of these little mufflers. It's a simple matter of just plugging it all the way in until they're fully seated. Once they're in, that's it. These are compression fittings, so as soon as it's, they're plugged in fully, they're done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to connect up your compressor. Power for the compressor is gained by simply plugging in the shrouded electrical connector from the pump into the back of the instrument and the only location that it'll plug into. The next one of course is going to be power for the instrument. You don't have to plug this in right now but it's obvious where it goes. Um, now we're going to connect the air system from the compressor to the instrument. So you're going to come with, the compressor comes with two sets of quarter inch tubing for this purpose. So you're going to take one of the pieces of tubing, separate it from the other, so now you got both ends. You simply look at the compressor pump. I've had mine labeled vacuum and pressure. You're going to take the vacuum side, which is this side here. You're going to fully engage that piece of tubing into that quick disconnect fitting. These fittings are already attached to the compressor for your convenience. And you're going to take the other end of the vacuum and you're going to press it into the vacuum supply port. And again, fully, fully seated. Once it's in, it's done. You don't have to do anything further. You grab the other piece of tubing, same idea, first into the pump on the pressure side, fully engaged, take the opposite end into the back of the 8000 into the pressure supply line. That is that. The last piece is to, to uh, plug in your sample drain line to make sure that it is connected fully and securely so there's no leaking. The opposite ends of that line goes into a suitable waste container that's compatible with your fluids. Uh, you get a little accessory here called a float. This little device is going to allow you to put it into your waste container in a strategic location so when the float is engaged, means your tank is full, that it will reply that information back to your instrument. You connect it electrically with a little green connector here. You these two wires, you connect the two and it gets plugged right into this drain container level switch location at the rear of the instrument. It doesn't get any simpler than that for connecting up your compressor to both the pressure and the vacuum side and also your drain line to a suitable waste container. Next thing we're going to do is install the sensor. You take the electrical connector, you install it on there. Using these two screws you securely fasten this back shell to the sensor so you've got a nice firm electrical connection. Then make sure your two O-rings are in place which will come in an accessory bag. One goes in the top of this in the O-ring groove. Another O-ring goes in here for the seal. Make sure that the flow arrow is pointed. You're going to slide it over that nozzle. You're going to take this lower nut and you're going to, and it threads in very easily. Once that portion is firm, you can use a 916 wrench to simply snug it down. You're just compressing an O-ring so you don't have to lean on it. You take the O-ring that's, you have one in the bottom and also one in the top. Make sure the O-ring is in place. You simply drop that down in, get the nut started. Once it's secured all the way down, again take the 916 wrench, you finish the securing, the sensor's in place, arrows up in the up position, flows up that way, and you're done with the sensor. Your instrument really is now ready to be turned on. That concludes the setup of an 811 system from the box to the bench. I'm Bill Bars reporting. Good day.